An excerpt from Almost Home by Kevin Ryan and Tina Kelly. Why can't you just leave me alone? He pleaded one afternoon, sprawled across the couch, having failed to go to school yet again. He had repeatedly told her about the humiliations of showing up with mismatched outfits from the shelter's clothing room. Had she even been listening to him? These chores you should be doing, Polly. One day they're going to help you. You're going to go to work and have a good work ethic, you know? I'm sick and tired of you with this tough love bull. Just leave me alone, he hollered. She bent down to face him and saw him trembling, his eyes moist, searching as far away from her as he could. She looked into those tired brown eyes, and for the first time she had second thoughts. Maybe this was not the way. Maybe Polly needed most to retreat into his shell, to rest, protect himself, and heal. Within a month, his longest stay at Covenant House until then, Polly was accepted into rites of passage, and he planned to leave the crisis shelter for his new digs several blocks away. The morning before he left, Polly invited Mildred to go for a walk. They bundled up and headed outside, passing the mural painted across the back of the building, depicting a young person sitting on a trash can next to the words, Life on the streets is a dead end. Um, I just wanted to say thanks for helping me. You got my ass in line. You never gave up on me. She shook her head no and reminded him of the last time he stayed there, when he asked her why she wouldn't leave him alone. Yeah, he said. You didn't really say anything. I know. I know, she said, looking down, pausing. Polly, I wanted to say never. I'm never going to leave you alone, you know, because I believe in you. He faced her and quietly responded. Thanks, Mildred. Don't thank me, Polly. I did for you what I did for my own. I'm kind of your own by now, he said. That you are, she said with a grin.